this is part two on the obstacle course. Uh, having your horse go through new environment, two new environments, and seeing new things, and they learn how to control themselves. This mare uh, is not as well trained as the gilded as riding in part one, but she does some things, you know, pretty good, and other things not so good. Uh, the first time she's seen any of this kind of stuff, so going through this kind of stuff that she's going through right now, she's doing pretty good. She's kind of rushing through it, which you know will take time to get her out of uh, just training and get her out of it. And then we're going to go back to the noodles here that are in the trees. And there she kind of wants to launch through it a little bit. She's going to try to launch through it again. But the more times I take her through it, the better she's going to, you know, get as time goes on. She's just going to get better and better. You can see her how she's trying to, you know, spin around and not want to do it. But in teaching your horses how to stay safe, um... Uh, through anything they may see or have to go through, they have to go through these type of obstacle courses uh, that they've never seen, that they've never been exposed to, or anything else. So I'm just going to keep her nose on it in, the, in this frame. I'm just going to keep her nose on it. And uh, we're just going to keep working with her going forward and keeping her nose on it. You can see how she's jumping around from side to side. This is completely normal for any horse uh, to do. And uh, she, she'll go through it as she goes through, through it. Right? She kind of launches through it again. So we're just going to keep having her go through it uh, in both directions until she go through it uh, pretty good or a lot better than what she was. Uh, I've been working with this mare for about a month. So she still has something to go where the gelding I was riding through this went through like four or five months of uh, work. And there she did a little bit better. And each time, you know, they'll just get better and better and better and better at it. There she goes. That was pretty nice. Pretty happy with her on that one. Then we're going to go across, you know, buy the bean bags. I'm not going to ask her to go through them because she's not ready yet. So we're just going to let them sit there and they can wave in front of her a little bit. Move in front of her and she does pretty good with that. So this whole point is exposing your horse to new things that they've never seen before or they've never done before. There, she tried to rush through that. You know, you may think you have a perfectly trained horse, but then you take them to a new environment, see new obstacles they've never seen before. At that point, they'll really find out how well they're trained. So, you know, the, all these obstacles are constantly moved around to different places on the property, so the horses see them differently as they in different places as they go through them. That she did really well. I was really happy with her on that. So here's the sheepskin where the gelding got really nervous of, uh, but she did pretty good. The mattress, she, you know, is not too happy about. She kind of spooked over that a little bit, but we'll get her to cross it right there. And it's all new stuff to both of these horses. And now we're going to go through the cans or the water bottles, and she did pretty good with that. So some, some, some of the things she's doing really well with, the other things she's not doing too good with. The monkeys on the trees and probably can't hear them but some of them, they have a battery in them to where the monkeys are chirping or making monkey noises and she did pretty good with that then we're going to go back through the mattresses again a big a small mattress a big mattress so you want to expose your horse to as many things as you can possibly get them through and take them through over and over and over mixing things up each day that you work with them so I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my YouTube page to see new videos as they come out. Um, here we're back to the monkey in the uh, pool, plastic pool right there. You can see him, and he's making a lot of noise. And so I'm just going to keep her nose on it. If I keep their nose on it, then I'm teaching them how to control themselves when they become scared or afraid 